hopefully this video will turn out. Um, it's not necessarily a D DIY or a home improvement video or anything like that. Um, just showing my elk camp. I'm set up here in the Rocky Mountains of Wyoming. And uh, it's the first year with my Kodiak Canvas cabin tent. And I'm not sure how bad the sun's going to affect the quality here, but Kodiak Canvas, 9 by 12 cabin tent. Um, so far, I'm loving it. Uh, you know, it, to me, it's a great tent. Um, I was thinking about a regular outfitter's wall uh, style tent, but uh, I didn't have the two grand plus in order to uh, buy one. So I spent, I think, maybe got this uh, whole setup for like $740 from Competitive Edge. I missed a really good deal on Cabela's but they were sold out by the time I had the money to order it. But uh, like you, like I said, like as it sits here with the enclosure and everything, uh, at the time it was $740 or thereabouts. Um, I highly recommend it. The only advantage that uh, a wall tent would have is it would already have a stove jack installed and uh, I'm going to install my own. I'll probably make a video. Um, but be aware that the manufacturer of this tent advocates or does not recommend setting up any type of a heater inside of this tent. Electric, propane, wood, any type. Which I guess they have to be that way in order to uh, keep themselves from being sued. If they said, oh yeah, sure, go ahead and set up a heater in there and you burn yourself up or burn your tent down. But I'm going to do it. Right now I'm running a propane heater. Um, and last night I didn't even run it. Because um, it, it just, even on the lowest setting, uh, it just, it's hotter than hell in there. Um, and up here over the Labor Day weekend here it's been in the 80s mid uh, mid to upper 80s during the day but at night the uh, temperature drops considerably down into the 40s uh, so I had been running it but between the sleeping bag and the heater even in the 40s it was just it was just too warm I guess I could have cracked open the windows but I decided last night just to give it a shot without the heater and even though it got into the 40s I was still comfortable go ahead and go inside here I apologize if I'm not in frame on the film outside because the sun's glaring on the screen what little bit of sun we have due to the smoke from all the wildfires but uh, this is inside and this is the heater I'm running it's uh, Mr. Heat uh, yeah, Mr. Heater Portable Buddy, and I'm running it off of a 10-pound cylinder in the back or outside that you probably saw. I just run a hose out the tent. There's a little zipper port down there, and I run it out and underneath the uh, underneath that surround out there. And uh, like I said, it puts out plenty of heat. I'm, kind of hoping it gets colder you know this warm weather is not good for hunting and uh, it's not good for hanging meat so if you do get something you can run a chance of your meat spoiling if you don't do something with it right away but the uh, capacity that's listed for this tent is a six person it's a nine by twelve however um, I'm thinking four comfortably yeah you could squeeze six in here i always tease my wife she's from the philippines a filipino style you could probably put 20 people in here but uh and the reason i would say four people comfortably is because this cool ass setup right here this is a disco bed and basically what they are is bunk bed cots 
and I highly recommend those as well. I'm pushing about 240 pounds and I sleep on the top bunk because not only am I 240 pounds but I'm also old <laughs> and getting in and out of that bottom bunk can be a chore so I like that top one and that's where I've been sleeping no problems at all with uh, any fear phones glitching right now so that's probably about the end of the video my phone is really messing up but anyway four people you put two bunk beds over here and two bunk beds over here in this area here's the door and then you still got plenty of room um, there's my wood stove that will be going in before the end of this season and I'll probably set it right here in the middle uh, not in the middle of the tent but right here two feet from the wall and then run the pipe up towards the ridge up there and I apologize for the quality of this video I know it's jumping around but anyway that's that's pretty much it except for the enclosure here this is the bees knees right here this is my this is my cook area uh, 